Hello, my name's Annie. People know me as Annie Logical. Thank you for joining me. Um, hey, while I was keeping track of events and happenings that was going on in my ex-hometown of Kirby in Knowlesley, it's a small town about six miles from Liverpool, and I noticed over the years that there was some rather strange artefacts and statues were appearing that all seem, seemed to be linked to the Hindu religion and festival. And that the area also holds the only Hindu Ganesh temple. So to end, towards the end of last year, there was uh, newspaper articles online claiming that the area had rats as big as cats and the kids couldn't play out. Which prompted me to go and do a bit of research about what was happening with the uh, water supply and the sewers. Yeah, so it kind of concerned me that, you know, the this was um, happening in an area linked to the festivals to do with water. And here we've got this report of this water company. Uh, so I started to look into this water company more called United Utilities. So I discovered that United Utilities had poisoned six areas in the UK with something called Cryptosporidium parvum. Now... This was during the same time that the National Institute of Health was asking for studies on cryptosporidium from the water corporations. So the media story was that the um, water company corporation hadn't done the job properly, causing this problem. Claiming it was due to uh, resistance from uh, to work with the Knowlesley Council. Now, I find that odd to believe because I found that they were actually working on the sewers at the same time that they said this, which they claimed would cause water discoloration. You and Kirby are actually linked to rat tumours. Just a few weeks after the report in the, in the paper, it was claimed that the same area was being called the borough of culture for 2022 so i'm thinking culture what sort of culture are we talking about here old all the celebrations and everything that they were doing were all linked to water so then i do a bit more in-depth research on kirby itself before it was a town it was the site of uh, an ex munitions dump which consisted of swampy marshland and the barracks that was built there was supposedly rehoused later by Malaysian um, English speaking teachers, tutors. And yet at this so-called teacher training camp, a most extraordinary worldwide event actually happened. It transpires to be the site of the place where an historic event happened in that the Malaysian first Prime Minister of Malaysia declared Malay independent from that very site. So what was this man famous for? Malaria expert. I mean, we've got to be realistic here. Why is someone who's a malaria expert going to a uh, supposed uh, teacher training college in the middle of an ex uh, munitions dump claiming the teaching English is proclaiming uh, his country independent and then he goes on to become the, pri the first prime minister and he's come over here at the request of the of the government so this was like four years after this so-called English training colleges opened up and the Royal Society was having meetings about tropical diseases when the CDC decided that they didn't want to involve themselves with malaria any more actively. It appears there's been a lot of research to do with malaria and its cousin cryptosporidium in this same area. Now it's no secret that the females in Kirby have got a life expectancy of less than everybody else. So it looks for all intents and purposes if Kirby and Knowsley is going to be ground zero for water contamination that is going to be blamed on the next so-called variation that's going to cause uh, extreme measures. They're claiming that the only cure for it is owned by the Gates Foundation. And it shocked me to see how many diseases actually mention cryptosporidium as a factor. From AIDS to CV. 
It's a parasite that's found in water and it miraculously changes and it becomes something that can now be used in water in 2000. So it recklessly changed and could be infected in water after CRISPR. In other words, manipulation went on to make sure that it could be used in the water. And a short time ago, United Utilities were claiming once again that six areas were affected by having water problems, which I do believe makes Kirby ground zero for water contamination and it's going to go on worldwide. This is the beginning of them contaminating water because what they're doing is they're, they're, they're building water treatment plants at the cost of billions. They're adding it onto infrastructure that's ready for the knacker's yard. It's not economically viable, is it, to spend billions creating water treatment plants because they say everybody deserves clean water. When the same people have caused the pollution in the first place, so they intend to spend billions, knowing full well at the same time that it will it will have 10 years in it at most if you're going to attach it to a failing, uh, decrepit uh, system. And we've now got a, a prime minister who was, who's been the environment secretary for two years, in which time she, um, she never had any meetings at all. To chastise them about pollution. The only one meeting she had was about cryptosporidium. These people don't care about us having clean water. They've purposely caused raw sewage and contaminations in our water supply so that we are then screaming out for water treatment plants. So you've got your problem reaction solution with the help of big corporations, of course. And the director um, is also um, a member of the Olympic uh, Authority Board, and they are also have been linked to um, the same water problem. Once again, involving six areas. So in making this video, I hope that some people go out and sort out a water filters that can deal with Cryptosporidium parvum, um, I know a lot of people already have and I'm really glad about that. So this is just basically a warning about the water and the food. So it appears that the Jewish plans for sustainability involve something called the Shemitah, um, as it was discussed at Windsor Castle. And this is the original reset. The seven year ends on the 26th of September. After that, they let the ground rest for a year and live off the food collected over the last seven years. So, Shemitah, I hope I'm saying it right, is the Hebrew word for release. Um, and it's the final year of a seven-year agricultural cycle outlined in the Jewish texts. Um, it's a time, apparently, they believe, for reflection and reset. Shemitah is a seven-year cycle in the Hebrew calendar. This current year ends on the 25th of September with the Hebrew New Year on the 26th. Often we see big moves in the financial markets during and just after these pivotal years. Think 2007 and 8 with the crash, 2001 with the dot-com bubble crash, and you know what else, 1986 and 87 with the Black Monday stock market crash in October, just after the end of Shemitah. It's a time of financial harvest and reset. And they talk of um, relinquishing individual uh, power and control. A time of transformational reality in the affairs of commerce. And the university that this uh, new framework comes from, apparently, is also one of the biggest crypto labs coming out of um, Arizona. So how are food shortages going to come about? Well, we need to look at Ukraine for this and what's going on with this nuclear power station claiming that they're going to shut down one of the biggest nuclear power plants in Ukraine which serves basically all of Europe. So this uh, Europe's largest nuclear plant is 
vaporizer. <laughs> Zaporizia. Zaporizia. Vaporizer. Uh, and the latest media headlines claiming with its so-called female Russian spy called 007007 reportedly found in that area. I mean, this whole thing is just, you can see how it's going to play out folks, can't you? So basically, they've created a food shortage, an energy crisis, and they're going to pollute and poison the water. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but this is the plan for them. And this is all just about to start within the next nine days. Of course, we're aware that the water pollution and the air pollution, and all the pollution has been going on for a very, very long time. But the situation as it is now is also going to involve the our currency this is all going to play into it as well the in white my opinion, house that's why gave they the order to state that the queen that they were going out time, within I believe under as many days of many of do that she's died into digital um, digital currencies to this and, and the reason the next for this is all playing into days timeline exactly so that money can be, can be um recalled which and will prompt uh, kickstart the a return system of the currency it appears then that this is what the real reset is all really about so you know I'm, I'm sharing this video I'm hoping that people will get water filters get stock up plenty of food and just prepare for it rather than you know run around in fear just know what's coming you don't have to fear okay you don't have to fear anything all we have to do is be aware okay that's all we need to do all right, thank you very much for listening. I'm Annie Logical and I'll speak to you later.